U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions created a firestorm when he justified the policy of separating immigrant children from their parents by invoking a Bible passage from the Book of Romans. I would say you to the Apostle Paul and his clear and wise command in Romans uh, 13 to obey the laws of the government because God has ordained, ordained the government for his purposes. The mainstream media had a field day. Don't break God into this. First of all, I don't think God picked you because I don't worship Vladimir Putin. And the only thing in the Bible close to this is a king threatening to cut a baby in two, and he was joking. It's not a law, and also the Bible isn't a government document. From a policy perspective, he might as well be citing green eggs and ham, saying, <laughs> we must keep children in a box, we must keep them with a fox. But should we really be surprised about biblical justification for policies? Last year, it was revealed that the White House is holding weekly Bible study classes. The classes are led by Ralph Drolinger, the founder of Capital Ministries, based in Washington, D.C. Capital Ministries has been operating for over two decades, preaching evangelism to elected public servants. Since our founding in 1996, our vision has not changed to evangelize elected officials and lead them toward maturity in Christ. It turns out that the man advising the White House on matters related to the Almighty is a former basketball player with a bachelor's degree in geography. Now, he has no background in public policy or political science, but he does offer his expertise on spiritual matters to those in power. They are so teachable, they're so noble, they're so learned. Like Jeff Sessions, he'll go out the same day I teach him something and I'll see him do it on camera. The list of officials who have participated in Ralph's classes is rather impressive. You've got Vice President Mike Pence. You've got Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos. You've got Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. And you've got Energy Secretary Rick Perry. All of them have sat down with Pastor Ralph to learn about the good book. Many Americans are horrified that evangelical ministers are influencing policy and even giving classes in the White House. They think, why are these religious kooks influencing the fate of the free world? But there are Americans who feel the opposite. That's the problem with this country. You people have allowed religion to become a part of political policies. Your religion, I don't care what it is, has no business being in government. It's his prerogative, right? It's his own religion, right? It's a freedom of religion. That's what the country is all based upon, right? Freedom. So it's the president of the United States. He has his rights as well. I believe in separation of church and state. I believe religion should be kept separate from politics. Uh, haven't other presidents done that in the past, too? I mean, if they're religious, then they're allowed to do that as long as it's not interfering with um, actual governing. Trump did come forward and put a stop to the controversial family separation policies. He may have cooled his critics on that, but in the process he seems to have opened up a new divide, a divide about his administration's newly announced policy of invoking the Bible to justify its decisions. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.